My name is Steve Brubaker. Steve, Steve, thank you for coming. Is that the first time coming to a mosque? Uh, no, it is not the first time coming to a mosque. Uh -huh. I visited the mosque in uh, Casablanca, Morocco. It was the second largest mosque on the planet. It was a very great cathedral with very ornately... Um, uh, it's got just beautiful. The whole thing was so beautiful. Some of the wood inside was very intricate. And uh, it was just a beautiful place. The doors on it were massive. And it was, a, it was a great place. How do you see the program, this one? Well, I think it's very important to communicate. I think that communication is a universal solvent. And as a Scientologist, I mean, we believe very much in communication. We also believe in unity of, of all religious beliefs. Because the only conflict we have is comes from outside. It doesn't come from my heart. And it doesn't come from your heart. It comes from a third person who wants us to be divided. And so I think the more that you communicate, or the more that we, as different religions, communicate, um, is what brings us together. Because we find that we actually have way more in common than we have uh, different. And also those little uh, olive-wrapped things they have for food are awesome. <laughs> what about the media? I mean, the media talks about him, the real thing is here. Well, uh, the, the media is not our friend. Let's be real. The media is trying to divide us. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I don't care if you're a black or a white, or if you're uh, a different, different uh, religious beliefs, or from a different country. The media is trying to divide us. And so, even we even find that even in some of the talks, there was some some um, mention of the media, which to me even shows how we ourselves are infiltrated by what the media has said, and we have conflict and. Uh, so we have to be very vigilant to watch that and not let the media's bias bias what we see with our own eyes. What you see with your own eyes and who you communicate with, that's your own personal experience and that should be held in higher regard than someone telling you what you should be thinking or what you should be seeing. So as, as, you, say, as you say that one, is there any message you can send for the neighbors and those for the people? Some of the people? <coughs> well, I would just say absolutely just communicate. I mean, my neighbor is an Iraqi Kurd, and I remember the day he moved in, and I walked up to him and I introduced myself and I said, listen, I don't care what church you go to and I don't care who you voted for, you're my neighbor first. And so we watch out for each other. I said, so, you see someone in my backyard, you call me. I see someone in your backyard, you call me. And we have been very good friends ever since, and the Ramadan cookies he makes, and his wife makes, are awesome. And uh, he and I have become good friends and helped each other with things as neighbors. And that is very important, thank I think. Thank you so much, Esteem. Thank, thank you for your comments. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Okay, first thing, your name? My name is Libby Kraus. Thank you, Libby, for coming. Is it first time coming to a mosque? It is, but our next door neighbors are Muslim. How was your experience today? It's been fantastic. Very welcoming, a lot of fun, fantastic food. How was the presentation? Uh, it was very informational, a lot of good. Uh, Helpful information. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look, my name is Larissa Gore. Oh, was your first time coming to Mosque? You said, was it my first? Yes, it was my first time coming. How was your experience today? Uh, my experience was good. I actually learned a lot about Islam and about the culture and the Muslim. Uh, the presentation. I the, see you had a Yes, the presentation was, it was great, and I, I, I learned a lot. Yes, the food was great. I loved it. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Rachel. It is. Okay, how was the experience? It was very insightful. I learned a lot, and I got some henna, and it looks really good. But, yeah, it was, and the food was really good. Um, I've read books on Islam and I have Muslim friends and they've always been very nice. I've gone to Muslim countries before so I've had a lot of knowledge about it which is really unique. I know a lot of people, maybe a lot of girls my age probably wouldn't have that much information so I'm kind of lucky but um, being here just reminded me of how kind people are um, and how good God is. 
and so yeah, I'm. I don't have Islamophobia. I don't personally. Um, I know God created all of us differently and uniquely. Like when the lady went up in the beginning of when we were in room nine, she was saying how she, that guy went into the cafe. Everybody was the same, wearing the same clothes, same hair, and there was just nothing interesting. But we're not like that, and that's amazing. And that's because God did create us so beautifully um, and different. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. God bless you. Yeah. I'm Jennifer Ray, and I was very grateful to be a part of today's uh, Meet Your Muslim Neighbors at the Islamic Center of Tennessee. I learned a lot during the presentation and, and, and honestly through meeting the folks here. The overwhelming message I received both from talking to people and from the presentation was one of peace and community. And that's what we really need to better understand our, our friends and neighbors in the cities, in the state, in the entire country, and even the world. Uh, we can all understand each other a lot better and build better communities. The food was amazing. Yeah, and very generous. I thought it was going to be a little taste of some things. I wasn't expecting a whole meal, and it was it was very generous. I, all right. Yeah. All right. Hey, my name is Brian Kraus. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, definitely, yes. Um, it was a fantastic experience. Um, uh, we, we literally have Muslim neighbors uh, living next door to us, and uh, we really enjoyed the relationship with them since they moved in, and so uh, they invited us to come, and we, we accepted the offer. So uh, I'd actually driven by here many times and, and thought about popping in, um, thought about you know just kind of asking some questions and, and learning a little bit about it, and I'd never really gotten the courage to do so. So this, uh, this event was a cool opportunity to do that. It was very good. It was very good. Yeah. Um, the presentation uh, definitely uh, told me some things that I had not heard before and some things that I had, but, um, but it was good to, to have some of the, the more challenging questions uh, answered directly, right? So, fantastic. Well, the food was fantastic. I mean, it's, yes. Yeah, well, thank you for having us. My name is Lori Davis. Coming. Was it your first time coming to a mosque? It was. How was the experience? It was great. Everybody was wonderful, friendly. I learned a lot, and it was a great experience. How was, it, how was the presentation? It was very good. I, it was uh, very informative, answered all my questions, I, and again, I learned a lot. Before you walked into the mosque, after, is there is anything you could say before and after? Um, well, we, I, I work with um, a lot of Muslim folks, and I also have Muslim neighbors who are great friends. So I don't know that I had any preconceived notions, but it was interesting to um, put the differences in um, how culture can impact um, a religion. Um, just like you know, Christians in different cultures can do not great things, it's it's true of every religion, that you can't paint everybody with a broad brush. Um, yeah, thank you. It was great. I Hi, my name is Christina Calloway. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, I was, um, I was invited here and it has been a beautiful and lovely experience. You all have been very welcoming. Uh, the food was absolutely phenomenal, um, as you promised, <laughs> and also um, the, just the lecture as well, and letting letting the community know that your desire is also to uh, exist as one, uh, refuting any of the um, uh, any of the despondent ideas that are out there, and actually inviting the community in is one of the things that we need to see more in all of our communities. So thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, I'm Stephen Singley. Is it the first time coming to a mosque? It is. How was the experience today? It was enjoyable. How was the presentation? It was a very good presentation. Uh, did you learn any new things? I, I did actually. I learned uh, a little bit more about um, how um, similar our religions are as far as Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. And uh, 
some of those roots. What was the food? The food was delicious. It was amazing. Oh, I definitely will. I will be coming back to uh, to learn a, a little bit more about Islam and have some uh, really good conversations. All right, thank you so much. I'm Terry Beecher. Terry, welcome to the Islamic Center. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. This is um, it was amazing. Um, I learned a lot. It is my first time in a mosque. It has not been my first time, you know, comparing religions and, that, but the speaker was so. I mean, the message is love, right? And I think that if everybody could hear that, you know, and, and dispel a lot of the myths, it really does dispel the myths and the preconceptions that people have. I felt very welcome. I, I felt very a part of everything. So it was a very inclusive event. I really can't thank you enough for putting this on. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the food was amazing. I know, I'm so stuffed. I'm actually going to a dinner now. I'm not going to be able to eat anything. Thank you. Well, it was, it was, a very, it was an honor on our part, too. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Dudas. I live in Antioch, and this was a wonderful day. I'm so glad we came because it, it says to me how much we have in common and how we're all God's family, all God's children, and that most of our problems are human not religious and I just hope we can all come together and worship together the one true God. Thank you for having us. This is wonderful. Thank you. Yes, I do. My henna. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lorraine Van Camp and thank you for this time together. Um, I learned I, I thought I knew a lot about Islam, but I learned so much more, and I had time to talk with people um, and clarify some misconceptions that I had about who are the Muslims and who live in our neighborhood. So I would heartily recommend that if there's an open mosque day again, that people try to make time to come and enjoy. Uh, the community here. All right, thank you so much. Elena? Elena, is this your first time coming to a mosque? It is. It is. It is. Um, everyone here is very hospitable. I enjoyed the unity um, and just the whole message of standing up for humanity that happened. And I came with my friends, so it was good to hang out with them and get to know some of their culture a little bit more. So. What is the new thing that you learned about Islam? I actually, so I knew a lot because I like to read on it, but um, it was very good to get to know my friend's culture. Yeah. You rate it. The speaker was very good. He's very good at communicating, very personable. So, did. I, so actually a lot, I've done a lot of reading on it, so I was familiar with the answers he gave. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. I'm uh, Marcos Brown, and this is. I'm Hannah. And, and this is Addy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. How was the experience? It was really great. I mean, uh, I think it was definitely said by other people, but it was very warm, well, uh, a welcoming place. Uh, tons of people willing to try and uh, answer any questions or really uh, um, educate. I mean, this is my first experience in a mosque and uh, you know with such a large Muslim community, and it's it's really cool to be able to see some. I mean, I think especially in today's culture, there's a lot of miscommunication within like multimedia and, and different things like that. And so um, that's honestly why I came, because I wanted to actually be able to talk and see people face to face, be able to see different cultures. And even though there's differences in points of view, to be able to still, you know, like you guys said, too, to love each other, to, to see each other as humans. Thank you for coming for you and your baby. Hello, baby. Can you say anything? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the food, Ooh, the food, the food was amazing. <laughs> um, so I'm a teacher for Metro Nashville, so I've uh, been to the Islamic Center at 12 South for um, a training there. So I knew a little bit about Islam, but it was just, it's always good to see people and meet people. And um, I feel like this had more opportunity to interact and eat together, and that was really special. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You too.